a sweeping legislation just signed this week designed to end the so-called puppy mill pipeline. The law stops retail stores from selling dogs, cats and rabbits. 7 News reporter Kristen Moran shows us the impact it's having in western New York. This week, their celebration. That's a wonderful day for all animals. And disappointment. It just has a lot of unintended consequences. Governor Kathy Hochul signed a sweeping pet-friendly bill banning the sale of dogs, cats, and rabbits that are bred under inhumane conditions. The goal, to end the puppy mill to pet store pipeline and stop abusive breeders. Pet stores take in these puppy mill dogs. They come from high breeding facilities. Um, the welfare of the mom and the puppies is generally not taken into consideration. But some pet shops are concerned. This will now bring their store to an end. It really is only going to allow puppy mills to flourish because now they can just sell them online and consumers don't have a choice to go somewhere where they do it responsibly. David Bulkis, owner and CEO of Barking Boutique, feels this unfairly targets businesses like his. No one wants to see a puppy mill existing, you know, where they stack cages um, and that's what we really want to try and close down and we try and do that responsibly by working with good breeders so that way people come to us instead of going to those backyard breeders that sell online. Volkis says at Barking Boutique they want to be as transparent as possible with the customer looking to get a pup. He tells me they personally meet the breeders and the parents of the pups. So from start to finish getting those dogs we have our eyes and you know exactly what's going on with our breeders. Um, all of them receive veterinary care. Uh, they all have indoor outdoor access 24 7. For Julie Starr with Buddy's Second Chance Rescue and Kimberly LaRusso with 10 Lives Club, <laughs> this bill is a step in the right direction. The welfare of the animals are not taken into consideration. They're not socialized, they're not vetted, they're not cared for. They're really just high, you know, high speed breeding facilities. And it shouldn't be about the profit, it should be about the animal's welfare. They hope this bill pushes people looking to add a new addition to their family to adopt, not shop. Hopefully now, you know, those people will come, you know, to rescues and look to get their you know, forever family members through us. Any dog breed you want, you can usually get at a dog rescue now and same with cats. Meantime, Boca says they have about a year to figure out what they're going to do with this barking boutique location. In that time frame, though, he hopes that Governor Hochul can make some amendments to this bill. We're in Tonawanda, Krista Moran, 7 News.